but it seems like we do have the first Crew 10. They've been a world away from each other. Onishi, the first Crew 10 astronaut, through the hatch. Now, after nine months, finally reunited. The new crew of four astronauts are excited to check in, so Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams can finally check out. I cannot tell you the immense joy on the, uh, of our crew when we looked out the window and we saw the space station for the first time. Uh, returning for a couple of people, very first time for a couple of people. Um, and let me tell you, that is such an amazing journey. Uh, you can hardly even put it into words. Uh, the ride up on the Falcon 9, uh, orbiting the Earth for the last couple of days, it's been absolutely incredible. Three, two, one. Ignition and the replacement crew arrived 24 hours after lifting off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets. But it was last June that Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore docked at the International Space Station. It was the first crewed test flight of Boeing Starliner spacecraft, but technical problems thwarted their return. Back on planet Earth, and Donald Trump accused President Biden of abandoning the crew. But the astronauts said they felt committed, not stranded, and have clearly made the most of their extended time up there. With nine spacewalks, Sonny Williams sets a new female record, and they've been conducting vital research. They've been working on, on growing algae in space so we can uh, see how we can uh, get rid of the CO2 that we breathe out and therefore we can sustain longer life in space. And also they've been doing biomanufacturing uh, of yeast and bacteria so that we can produce more things up uh, in space and therefore don't have to take as much cargo up there. Butch and Sonny, alongside their two ISS colleagues, should then depart on Wednesday in SpaceX's Dragon capsule, returning home at last. Alice Porter, Sky News.